Alright, today we're going to take a look at choosing random elements on a page. Um, right here we're looking at WordPress after you sign in. Going to see how to pick a random theme for your for your WordPress blog so that when you create a new account that you don't have the same look to your blog. Um, there's a couple, three ways you could do it, but the best way I mean, you could choose one of the pictures here and right click on it and go to the branch builder. And here you got an image tag, and you can see there's a lot of available images on the page. The only problem, and you could actually use this and create a random number in your, for your element attribute or your match, but the only problem is that if we close this and we go look on the page here some of these themes here are you have to purchase them so if you had a random number and it ended up landing on one of these on one of these uh, sale themes it would take you to a uh, payment page and then your your template would stop because it's expecting to do something else after you choose your theme so for example if we if we look at this one right here you would see the number would be eight so if we chose all that the the height of the of the image all of them would be 180 here you can see it over here on the right um, but there again you would be hurting yourself because it might click on one of these or a, they put quite a few on the page here's one for fifty five dollars so what you really want to do is find something on the page that is only relevant to what you want another thing you could do is you could have a text file with the name of the theme in here. Um, let me pull this one over here where we can take a look at it. Here you have 8. So you could add, use the outer HTML. Pull it back over a little bit. You could use the outer HTML and use 8 or if you look at this one here it'll say retro Mac or OS or Vertigo over here but the only problem is that WordPress when you first sign up they're gonna show you random themes on here and if the name of the theme if you randomly pulled the name from a file and you chose one on by the name and the the, the theme is not on the page that it's showing you because like I said they randomly show you themes then you'd be in trouble so I can see right away what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work on that, use that activate here. So hover over it, right click to Pro Branch Builder. And <clears throat> right away it's showing me what it picked up was the URL over here of it. And that's not what we want. So what we want to do is pull the drop down, go to outer text, and then erase all this junk here and type in activate you also see with that URL you only get one match so now if you hit search you're gonna see with the outer text activate and the the tag is an A which is a link you can see here that you get 22 matches and that's exactly what we want and you could probably click around and see if I click on number one that goes over here um, can't change it but but no matter which one you clicked on here you would see a different theme picked and that's exactly what we want so you're gonna change this to rise because you want to click on it pull down uh, hold on just a sec hit click and test and what you should see is you should see that theme being used now
So here you see it. Pick the theme out. You have a randomized theme. That way you don't have to worry about going through and trying to record every click and everything. You can do it with random numbers. And then what you would do is in your template editor, you would go in and randomize the number from 0 to 24. Uh, put the result of that in the match number on the step that you created in the Pro Branch Creator.